Are you ready? Yeah. Once again, we present, we present Bill Martinez Live. What did you say? You're listening to Bill Martinez Live. America, 27 minutes before the top of the hour. I am Bill Martinez, and uh, we're going to be talking with Janice uh, Moraglia. Uh, Janice is a vice president for government and military programs at Applied DNA Sciences. Um, rather fascinating work that they're doing when you think about it. You know, uh, for a long time, I guess we've known that, uh, you know, if somebody goes and robs a bank, they're... There's a, a device within the uh, bag that they give the robbers to that when they open up the bag, it will explode and, um, you know, declare uh, the bank robber who's been associated with the, you know, with the bag. And this will help police officers uh, be able to determine, you know, who, who's who's the bad guy in this situation uh, because, uh, you know, they get inked up with this uh you know, with this product in such a way, it's not easily washed off, and so it stays with them. Well, um, c- kind of in a similar sense is what um, uh, Janice is working with, and this is a U.S.-based applied DNA sciences at the forefront of corporate and military security. And this unbelievable high-tech approach, um, you know, from an American company has taken, uh, you know, that they've taken to thwart sophisticated threats because, as you know, uh, the threats are just getting more and more complicated, more and more sophisticated. I mean, you know, whatever you figure out, um, you know, to do against them, uh, these perpetrators, uh, they're always thinking and they're always innovating and coming up with new and sophisticated ways, you know, to get around the system. But uh, thank God for Janice Miraglia and uh, and DNA uh, applied DNA sciences. Uh, Janice, are you with us? I am. Thank you for having me, Bill. Well, great to have you. I mean, this is quite fascinating what you're working on. You know, as I mentioned, you know, we've seen this happen with uh, bank robberies in a sense, but you're taking it to a whole other level with uh, applied DNA uh, DNA sciences. Uh, explain to our audience uh, in, in more practical terms as I try to bumble through it. I, I hope I didn't misrepresent you. Not at all. You did a great job with it. You ready um, to be a molecular biologist? Oh, boy. We, um, yeah. <laughs> in, in a line or two, we use plant-based DNA as a tagant, a security method, as a whole host of different things in order to um, provide an anti-counterfeit solution, an anti-theft process. We have programs that we create around plant-based DNA, and we're able to work with the team of scientists we have here, as well as our customers and partners, to create you know this wide range of interesting products and solutions. Mm-hmm. Well, how does this work? Well, we, as I said, we start with plant-based DNA. It's a pretty mm-hmm. rugged molecule. We then take it and stabilize it so that no matter what industry we're working with and whatever items we might be trying to protect, we can ensure the the stability of what we're doing and the effectiveness of what we're doing. What I'm specifically focused on is protecting and working with the U.S. military and their suppliers. So how we use the product is to incorporate these DNA molecules that Mm -hmm. are created uniquely for each different company that we work with and incorporate them into mil-spec inks. And we use them to safeguard microchips or the brains of the, the intelligent chips on a circuit board that help weapon systems. And we ensure that only authentic chips go through into the military supply chain. So they're, so they're identified and they have a associated code to validate, um, you know, their, um, you know, their quality and consistency. So in, in this particular case, right? Yes. Um, DNA is a matter of, of extreme confidence. Companies are working with us that have levels of quality and assurance in what they're doing, and they want to ensure or empower their end users. Mm-hmm. In the specifics of this, it's the warfighter, really, that we're helping to support. But if you think about the systems that the warfighter needs at the ready, you would have, you know, anything from uh, missiles to planes to tanks. They need to mm-hmm. work confidently with those systems. 
and there have been a lot of examples of counterfeits that have been documented. And one of the ways to ensure you don't have counterfeits is not to detect the counterfeit, but to prevent the counterfeit. So mm -hmm. we're in that preventive layer of what the Department of Defense or DLA specifically is doing. Right. Well, prior to your involvement, uh, how bad was the problem? There are a lot of cases that have been documented. Um, one that stands out was put together. It was a case put together by the Missile Defense Agency, or MDA, with mm -hmm. the THAAD missiles. The problem when counterfeits were realized in those systems cost about $2.7 million to correct. The cost, if they didn't correct them, is in, you know, it, it can't even be calculated. Oh, because, again, these sure. are the intelligence of the systems. So these mm -hmm. are the components in a circuit board that direct or guide the missile in this case. Now, I understand that the technology that you're employing not only uh, identifies the product, but it can even identify the perpetrators. How's yes, that? depending on the application. So with the microchips, it's a matter of traceability. Who sold me this item? Mm -hmm. their, their corporate DNA is on the item. In the case that you were talking about with the fog and the banks and things like that, it's more of a cause and effect. So mm -hmm. if you break into a particular ATM machine, that code associated with only that ATM will be now linked with the perpetrator. So that's why it's a tremendous tool in courts, and we've convicted over 70 criminals based on our evidence. Now, you've got some um, great anecdotal stories of how applied DNA science has nailed counterfeiters. Uh, share a couple just for fun with us, would you? Sure. There's um, a limit to what I can share because most of it is, is confidential. However, yeah. for you the... don't have to kill me, do you? Okay, so don't kill me. <laughs> well, try not to. <laughs> but right, um, what happens is we have as part of our program, and you have to look at what we're doing in a very holistic way. There are different checkpoints and steps in the process before a part gets marked. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, we have pulled counterfeits out of the supply chain because they didn't pass through a testing protocol. So they never even got DNA on them, and we pulled them out of the supply chain, right through to a certificate of destruction that we have on file. So that, that's one situation. In another situation, parts were marked. There was question on the level of testing. The parts were reviewed, and because the company that marked them had their unique DNA code, we, along with um, others, were able to go back to that company, pull the parts, and have a very efficient process to remove the bad parts. Now, the companies that are utilizing this technology, um, boy, I'll tell you, that really advances their security to a whole other level. Um, how is that, uh, you know, being embraced, uh, not only with a company, but, uh, you know, whenever you have, uh, I guess, uh, you know, Veritas and you have the truth, um, you know, resident, it, it, it gives everybody a sense of comfort and confidence, doesn't it? Well, it does. If you are confident in your product and or your service, then, yes, you apply this. And if you're not quite as confident as you should be, you yell and scream that this is not a good solution. So we've actually heard both sides of that um, loud and clear. And we have stood tall and stood strong with what we're doing, as has DLA, the Defense right. Logistics Agency. So there, this has not been without controversy. I wish it was smoothly, but um, there has been controversy. But any time you're introducing dramatic change and you're taking on a big industry such as, in this case, electronics, you, you have to expect that. So we've stood tall to it. Well, that's good. Well, congratulations. Well, especially, you know, when you're talking the kind of money that we're talking about, not to mention, you know, like you say, uh, you, you know, you deliver technology in a wartime environment and uh, all of a sudden something doesn't happen according to operating procedures because, oops, we have the wrong um, you know, piece of technology in there. No bueno. 
Well, uh, Janet Margolia has been with us. Janet, thank you so much, uh, Janice. This is Bill Martinez. We're live at 18 before the top of the hour. Bill Martinez, we're live at 18.